Fontaine or Joe Fontaine music. I'm going to address a couple of emails right quick. I'm not going to run too long on this one. Just want to show you how you can do the stutter effect and send people's accents some questions on the elastic properties. Okay, so with the elastic properties, um, you can see right here in this track, um, I got a lot uh, going on uh, in the track. But uh, just to make it easier to get a grasp on how the elastic properties work, I highlighted this section here for the, um, the kick drum, and I sold it, but I'm not going to really get into uh, any audio right now. Um, the first thing that you want to do, uh, if you wanted to, let's say if the, these kicks were playing like this, but you want to move this kick over just a, a little bit uh, to the right or to the left um, without using Beat Detective, for example. Um, first, get familiar with, with, with this area over here. Um, let's see if I can, okay. You have polyphonic, you have rhythmic, you have monophonic, and you have very speed. Polyphonic just simply means uh, this is for when you want to... Uh, process complex audio um, like like let's say for a singer or something like that rhythmic is for I'm not gonna say less complex but you know for like drums or, or rhythms um, monophonic is, is for more simple waves very speed I'm not gonna really get into that too much because it really doesn't have a lot of options in, in, in my opinion so basically what happens is we're just gonna um, process the audio we'll warp it we'll move it then when we're done with it what we'll do is we'll render the processing that way it frees up some of the uh, the the load off of the the processor okay so you go under uh where it says okay, analysis now, you see right here it, it puts a little transient marks on the drums okay now from there what you would do is you would go under warp and you see it puts a little with the little warp uh markers down here i guess you can call them now if if this was the kick that you wanted to adjust in the mix you could well let me get back on grid here okay now you see how it, it moves, and when I'm moving this, when you look to the left, it's stretching. You see that drum over there? It's stretching that drum out, and I'm moving this one. Now, if I stretch it too much, you see right there, it's saying, um, you know, you're over-compressing the audio too much. You know, you need to back up. You know, you're stretching the audio too much. That, that's basically what Pro Tools is saying. So, um, you know, you just put it where you need it. You can add markers. You, you can right-click for options, like add warp marker. Boom, it put it right there where I had it highlighted. You see it stretching it out. And, you know, then, you know, they're, they're again saying, hey, you compress that too much. You know, so it, a lot of things that you can do with this. You know, back under the options, say like elastic properties, you can go over here where the source tempo is. And see how I move that? You can move that whole region, you know. And we also, you know, you can go into um, making region groups, you know. Basically, region groups is just like you highlight a bunch of regions, and it just basically like consolidates all those files to one big region. You can move it, copy it, paste it. You know, but that's another tutorial. Okay, now um, these warp markers. Um, once you're done, you had it, uh, you know, to the way that you needed it. Then you would go up under. Let's see here. Rendered processing. Boom, it sticks there. And Let's see, we'll go back up under waveform. So it adjusted it, and so everything would be there. All right, and then for the stutter effect, it just basically, you, it's normally for the vocals. Uh, it works better with, with vocals, but just to save time, I'm going to go ahead and do it with some of the sounds I got right here. I'll be using this, uh, this, this little orchestral brass that I have right here. Um, the template you want to use is basically over in your grid because that's just basically how, you, how you're quantizing it. So that basically is just going to be in the background, these tiny little bars back here. That's just basically where you want to chop it on. So the effect to me basically is what DJ's been doing since the 80s, old school DJs, you know what I'm saying, working that little corner on the fader, you know what I'm saying? So when you, when you put that effect on the vocals, I guess today they call it the, the stutter effect. But anyway... You basically you cut up your little regions like that there. Boom. Over and over. Boom. I'm holding the mic, so you got to forgive me because I'm going like from the mouse to the, you know what I'm saying, the keyboard with one hand. But anyway, you see how, you know what I'm saying, well, it's good to learn some shortcuts too. But anyway, you see right there, I'm um, just slicing it up. Boom, boom, boom. So basically, that that's basically what the stutter effect is because when you slice these up, when you, you go every other one like here, you would leave it um, on, then you would jump over here to this region, then, then mute it. Use the Command M key. When you mute it, this section is going to turn gray. And just for time saving factors, 
I'll show you right here where I already did it. You see how I went over every other one. I, I got this section muted, this section on, this section muted, this on. So in other words, it's giving that, it's working that little, that little corner effect. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically how the stutter effect is done. And just so you hear, hear it, I'll let you hear just that one little part of the track from right here. Let me turn the speakers up. So you heard that, how it's like, din -din 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 -din. you know what I'm saying? I'm just doing it kind of fast right now. You know what I'm saying? You can achieve different different results by by slowing the, uh, the quantization down on the grid. Let's say like, change it to 32s and the grid changes in the back you know what i'm saying so the stutter effect slows down a little bit more so on vocals try it out on vocals you, you'll you'll understand a, a lot better again right now i'm just trying to save time because i was right in the middle of doing something it's a lot going on in this track right now you know what i'm saying i'm gonna go ahead and get it sequenced out the way i need to get it sequenced out but anyway this your boy joe fontaine or joe fontaine music you know what i'm saying be sure to pick up your um your drum kits from me. i got drum kits for ten dollars my subscribers on youtube get it for uh 50 off you know what I'm saying? So get at me.